Hey, St. Paul's, this is Father Jim, and it is time for our last video chapel of the year before I get to be with you in person, and I can't wait to do that, and I finally get to see you all face to face. Well, today I thought I'd give you a different viewpoint of the church. Not everybody gets a chance to get up here and look at our beautiful church from the choir loft, and sometimes it's important to get a different vantage point a different angle of our life and sometimes God through the Spirit does that for us. And this last chapel I want to talk about a very special day that is coming up at the end of the month. Last week I talked about feast days that during the course of our calendar year like there's a regular calendar that has a, you know August, September, October and all the different seasons. There's a church calendar as well that begins with Advent. Ironically, it starts, our church calendar starts at the end of November or 1st of December, based on the, the timing. And then we have Advent and Christmas and Epiphany and Lent, and uh, we go into Easter and again, this great 50 days. And the last day of this great 50 days from Easter is what's called the Feast of Pentecost. Penta is 50. And so the Feast of Pentecost was this day that Jesus had talked to the disciples about but until they experienced it, until they got to see it from that different vantage point, they really didn't believe that it would happen. And so Jesus had ascended. He had gone back to be with God and promised, I will send you the comforter, the guide, the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we hear it called the Holy Ghost in older language. And that spirit is the spirit of God that speaks in us, to us, and through us. If you're a Star Wars fan, then you understand the force and that the force helps direct and you can use it for good or ignore it and, and do your own thing. Um, it's kind of the same way in, in the spirit of Christianity, that God gave us this gift. And so they were in the upper room. They were kind of waiting, what do we do now? The boss is gone. Uh, we're not sure uh, what we're called to do. And in that moment, imagine, you're sitting around this table and this mighty rush of a big wind comes in and all of a sudden flames start coming up on people's heads and they become alive in the spirit and begin to speak in all these different languages that they didn't even know they could speak. And God used that because during this great time, there was a huge festival in Jerusalem and people came around from all over uh, from different languages and different parts of the Mediterranean. And guess what? Because of the disciples now through the spirit could tell the good news of Jesus in their language, they could understand it. And 3,000 people were baptized that day. Could you imagine if we had 3,000 people line up here for baptism? What a great day that would be. Well, here's another video from our Saddleback Kids video collection uh, that kind of tells you a little bit more about the season and the feast and the event of the Pentecost that helped them and those who heard it see from a different point of view. So enjoy it, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus. They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you. 
He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Hey, and we're back. I hope you enjoyed that. Those are fun. Again, Jesus and the disciples. Hey, oh, that's gonna be our new little hello to you, Joel. Hey, oh, can you imagine in the upper room, flames on heads, all of a sudden you can speak a different language and the Lord uses you in unique and different ways. Well, guess what? That didn't happen just back then. That happens now too. That when we say yes to God, when we acknowledge that we've been chosen by God. See, God's chosen each and every one of you. He loves you so much. He wants you uh, in a part of his relationship in life that when we say yes to that and through the waters of baptism, we are then given this gift of the Holy Spirit that helps us discern, which means understand certain spiritual events. It gives us gifts to be able to accomplish his will. It gives us abilities. Trust me, I could not do what I do as a priest if it was just Jim Servillo. If it wasn't for the gift of the Holy Spirit and how he works and moves and my obedience, try, some dames better than others, uh, to be humble and listen and follow that spirit, um, then he does miraculous things. Guys, that's the whole reason I'm your new priest, is the Holy Spirit spoke to me and my wife in December when we were having these interviews with the Church of the Ascension as they were looking for somebody. The Spirit spoke to them, it spoke to us, and now we're in a new relationship with each other. And I can't wait to spend uh, the next decade or more of my years in ministry here getting to know each and every one of you and your families. So I hope that helps you understand the, the uh, uh, gift of the Holy Spirit, the movement of the season of Pentecost, and uh, our time. So I can't wait to be with you for our graduation events and uh, to move forward with that. So have a great summer. If I don't see you, may God bless you, and may you have an ear to hear what the Spirit says and honor all people. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. So let us close with our prayer that we always say is our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever and ever, amen. So in the name of our God, of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, and of Jesus, blessings to you. God's peace be with your families, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.